set to run across the entirety of Africa, nine miles wide and then 4,700 miles long, is one of the greatest collaborative projects in human history. The Great Wall of China was built to stop nomadic raiders from pillaging Chinese villages. But Africa has its own encroaching threat. And it's not people, it's the desert itself. And the only way to hold it back is trees. Millions and millions of trees in a line stretching across the entirety of the African continent. It will be the Great Green Wall of Africa. Besides Antarctica, which we don't really think of a desert because it's cold, the Sahara is the largest desert in the world, and it's expanding. The United Nations predicts that as soon as 2025, two-thirds of the farmable arable land in Africa will be overtaken by Saharan sands. This would be a catastrophe for a continent that is already struggling with sustainable farmland and food availability. And it affects countries stretching across the, the entirety of the African continent. And they depend enormously on their natural resources, on sustainable arable farmland, on fishing stocks. It's not exactly that the Saharan desert is expanding, so much as that the lands that are being used as farmlands are becoming desert. The way they have decided to combat this desertification, they're going to plant and grow an enormous barrier. The landscape itself will vary depending on where it is and what country it's running through. And hopefully we'll be home to a really diverse set of ecosystems. So far it's off to a relatively small start. Only 320 miles have actually been planted. But should it be achieved, should this swath of nature be grown across an entire continent, it would be one of the greatest achievements in human collaboration and ingenuity, it would truly be a monument for the ages. Subscribe here and watch more videos here.